Hi, we've got some hot new firmware for the Tenor Tester. Version 3 adds an RF generator and fixes up a lot of bugs and smooths out a lot of the operation. So we'll just take you through it now. We have three buttons along the top here. Increment, decrement and control. So using those three buttons we can select between sweeper, generator and calibrate screens. So we just keep pressing the buttons to either the increment or decrement buttons to move through the screen, the selections. Double click will take you into a screen. Here we're in the sweeper screen and a single click on the control button will move the cursor between lower frequency and upper frequency. A single click of the increment or decrement button will increment it or decrement it by 100 kilohertz. If you hold the button down, it will be incremented or decremented by a megahertz. So we'll just narrow it down a bit. It's fine, I know my antenna is good for 20 meters, so we'll sweep it now with a double click on the control button. As you can see, the screen updates very fast. We have clear indication that it's sweeping with the on icon, and now it's stopped. We've got the off showing. Down the bottom of the screen here, we can see the best, this is the first best frequency with the lowest SWR. So that's very handy. It's a great little screen there, very clear. Lots to play around with. If you press and hold the control button, you come to a blank screen, release it, it takes you back to the main menu. From here, we can select generator. And we've used the increment or decrement key to get to it, and we double click. So here now you can see we have an RF generator. To move around the screen, we use a single click on the control button. Press, moves around. Press, moves the cursor. Press, moves the cursor. We want to change the drive level, we can do that. We move the cursor to the drive level and just use the increment or decrement buttons to change the drive level. And what should be noted is the circuit is geared up for 4 milliamp drive. For, gener for measuring SWR. Anything other than 4 milliamps and the circuit for measuring SWR won't work correctly. So, we've set it to 4 milliamps. We double click to turn the generator on. It gives us, tells us that at 80 megahertz, my antenna has a horrible SWR. And we can see that the generator's on, right? Okay. While it's on, we can change frequency. While it's on, we can change drive. Now we know what we're changing because we've got a cursor underneath what we're changing. Now we'll, we'll just change the drive. And you note the SWR reading goes away because the SWR circuit is only accurate at 4 milliamp drive. Double click turns it off. And we'll just show you, okay, so we'll move up to right. We've got the cursor under the 8 now. You will note, as I change the frequencies, the harmonics of this frequency is displayed right up to the 7th harmonic. This is really handy for sweeping other frequencies. And you're sure, yes, those levels are way down. I, from memory, at a gigahertz, we're looking at around minus 20 to 40 um, dBm, but it's still quite usable for some applications. Okay, so we'll just have a little bit more of a play so you can see that, how it's calculating the harmonics as it goes. Of course, we're not generating anything at the moment because our icon at the top here shows off. If we want to generate that, we would double click 
and it would be on. Double click, off. Okay. And we will move around. Right, now I just want to show you that it can, if we hold this button down again, it will go fast and it will max out. The maximum frequency is 150 megahertz for the fundamental for what we're generating. But as you can see, that's giving us 1050 or 1.05 gigahertz on the seventh harmonic. So there's a range of very usable frequencies from the RF generator here. Like the sweep screen, if you press and hold, the control, you get blank, release it, and it comes back to the main menu. And we'll show you the last feature, which is the calibrate screen. Go into calibrate, double click. Same generator screen effectively, but now you have access to the PLL calibration factor. And what you would do here is you would generate your signal into your frequency counter. And if you're measuring 150 megahertz, you will then adjust this calibration until your counter reads exactly 150 megahertz. Navigation is the same. We just keep pressing the cursor button, the con control to move the cursor, go down past the milliamp, and we go into calibration, where we can decrement or increment the calibration. Now. Of course we can turn it on by double clicking and we're generating 150 megahertz now. And by moving the calibration, we're slightly calibrating it. So the, and this is in the order of a, of a tenth of a hertz at a time. For every 10 on the calibration I believe it is. You'll soon see it when, when you look at it on your frequency counter. Um, double click to turn it off. And again, a single click to bring you back to the main menu. Now, we've calibrated it to store the calibration settings. We now need to reboot it. It's only when it reboots that it will actually store the settings. So from this menu, you press and hold the, the control button. When you release it, you'll see you get the white screen. That's done a reboot and save those settings. Now the settings it saves is the start and stop frequency for the, for your SWR sweeper. So if you're working on an antenna, it will save those settings where you were at. It will also save the last frequency we generated it also saves the calibration factor and remember to save it we click and hold back to the main menu click and hold reboot and that's the latest version 3 firmware for the Tenor Tester this firmware is available free to those who purchase the Tenor Tester either as circuit board only, complete kit seat, or built up unit. Thanks for watching my video. Have fun with the Tenor Tester.